Finally, with another YZ Supermoto build video, and hopefully today this will be a chill project, but I'm not counting on it because everything I take apart from this bike is just a mess inside. It's also why we're not rebuilding the engine in this video, which I had already started, but I ran into an issue. One of the transmission gears actually had two chipped teeth, so I had to order a new replacement gear, and that takes a few weeks to get here. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna get all of this done. We're gonna be doing three major things today. I'm gonna to be rebuilding the fuel tank and fuel pump assembly. Also gonna go through, clean out the throttle body and do a fuel injector cleaning. And the last thing is gonna be cleaning up the airbox and getting it ready to put back on the bike. So we have a new replacement fuel pump and a bunch of other parts for the fuel pump assembly. We're gonna be removing this fuel injector. I'll show you guys how to do that. And then we're gonna take it over to Jack's Moto and they have a special tool to clean fuel injectors. And over here we have the super flow kit from No Toil. So it's got this high flow filter cage along with this high flow filter which has a flame resistant inside. And we're gonna be using special oil for it as well. And I'll tell you guys where you can get these rebuild kits and all of these parts later when we go into detail on each. So we're behind schedule again with this build, but plan is to combine a few of these next videos so that hopefully I can finish this project up in three more videos. But that's awesome news for you guys. It means the raffle is gonna happen soon. So get ready, start saving. And once I finish this bike, I'm definitely taking a break. I want to ride my babies over here. My knee is feeling a lot better and I think it's time to start riding the 450 a little bit, maybe just on some trails or just mess around. And I can always take this bad boy out for a rip whenever I want, but I need to finish this damn bike. So let's make some moves.
right, I was just getting absolutely wrecked by mosquitoes, so I'm taking a break from outside. I'm gonna try to take apart this fuel pump assembly. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm gonna take this apart, look at what's inside, and I ordered this kit. It's a Kemzo fuel pump, and it comes with all of these extra fuel filters and hoses and o-rings and stuff it should have everything i need for this bike for a 2014 yz 450f i was able to pick this kit up for like 30 dollars on ebay as opposed to buying the whole assembly which is all you can get off of an oem parts distributor and this thing costs like 160 dollars i believe so this is a very cheap alternative, and as we see here, it looks like somebody has already replaced the fuel pump before with the same fuel pump. So definitely know it works, and since I bought a new one, might as well throw it in anyways. Let's go!
this thing is looking mint right now. So I just want to talk a little bit about how we did that, give you guys some tips, because when I'm at Jack's Moto, we're just working really quickly and it's hard for me to film and I'm always missing a few steps. But some tricks for you guys is to use multiple screwdrivers. So we used three or four and they were like the smallest screwdriver tips that you could get. And you wedge one in at a time and keep it in there, keep popping them. And then we had to cut this hose off, the old hose, because it wasn't allowing us to pull this out. It was holding it up. But that's how we ended up doing it. And we actually had to do it a second time. I messed up putting the O-ring on the first time. So the second time probably took us just a few minutes to do. First time was about 15 minutes. And it's definitely tricky to do. You know, you don't want to break these tabs off, so just be patient with it. We got the new filter in there, new pump. It's the same pump that just came out. And you can see that it has some debris in there, so we really did need to switch out this filter, and I'm glad we did that. I would recommend swapping your fuel filter out every season if you can, if you ride a lot. And the fuel pump should be good until it goes out, but you know, this kit was $30, so it's not a big deal if you wanna replace it. And apparently these pumps have a higher output. I think it's like 40% or something, but uh, yeah, I'll check that. We got the injector cleaned out. You guys saw that, and it was really clogged up. Again, this needed to be done. So cleaning out your fuel injector is something I recommend doing once a year as well. So you can take your injector over to Jack's Moto and they'll help you out. They got that fuel injector cleaner that you just saw. And if you don't have a lot of mechanical experience, I would recommend giving this pump to a shop because you really don't want to break it. This is like a $150 part right here because Yamaha only sells it all together. We got a new fuel hose on here and we even wired it up really tight because this thing is going to be under a lot of pressure, but it's not going anywhere. So now we just got to finish putting together this pump, put the injector back in the throttle body and get the air box rebuilt.
Before I throw the gas tank back on, I need to stick these rubber pads back on the frame. So they sit right here between the gas tank and the frame, and I've already got it marked off where they need to go. So I'm gonna be trying out this spray adhesive. I think it's gonna work just fine. I cleaned up the rubbers as much as I could to get the old glue off, and I'm gonna wipe them down with alcohol first, spray the new adhesive on, let it sit for a few minutes because it takes a few minutes to tack up, and then we're gonna stick it to the frame. Well, we are one step closer to being done. Next, we're gonna be rebuilding this engine, and I was just waiting on that gear like I explained, but it's almost here. So if you guys have any questions about what I did, just drop a comment down below. I always read the comments, and you know, sometimes you guys ask me things and I can help out. Sometimes you guys tell me I'm doing shit wrong too, so that's good. But anyways, I work really hard on these videos, guys, and been kind of struggling with the views. YouTube's just tough right now. If you guys wouldn't mind just sharing this video anywhere, I don't care, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you guys can do, it'll help me out a lot. Give this video a like and drop a comment below. Whew, it's been a long grind, and I'm really looking forward to finishing this bike up, as you guys can imagine taking a break from working on these bikes, I think. Hopefully we'll finish this engine up in another week or two, so stay tuned guys, and thanks a lot. See you in the next one.